वेलकम टू स्क्रिप्ट लर्नर्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन टूडेज वीडियो वी कैन डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम दैट वॉज आस इन द टी सी एस कोडिंग इंटरव्यू राउंड कैंडिडेट हैड थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इंटरव्यू वॉज बेस्ड ऑन जावा एंड स्प्रिंग बोर्ड कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग द कोडिंग पार्ट ओनली सो लेट्स डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम सो यू आर गिवन अ मैथड स्ट्रिंग चेक पासवर्ड इट कंटेन्स टू आर्ग्यूमेंट्स स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर एंड इन इंट एन n must be the size of the string the function accepts string str of size n as an argument implement the function which returns correct password format if given string is valid password else incorrect password format str is a valid password if it is set it satisfies the below conditions string should contains at least four characters at least one numeric digit at least one capital letter must not have space and slash starting character must not be a number okay so if any st string satisfy all these conditions it is a correct password format otherwise it have an incorrect password format okay so let's discuss this with an example let's take this example so here we can see uh the size of this string is greater than 4 it specifies the first it satisfies the first condition second second is it should contain at least one numeric digit yes it contains uh, more than one numeric digits at least one capital letter yes we have one capital letter that is s must not have any space or slash it doesn't have any starting character must not be a number yeah so the starting number is b that is a that is a character not a number so yeah it is a correct password format second is script space learners 1 2 so here you can see we have we have a space so it is an incorrect password format third one is abc at the rate 1 2 3 it is a correct password format one abc at the rate we3 it is an incorrect password format because the starting initial letter is a digit Oh, so hope you understood the problem statement now let's jump into the coding part let me create a new class here let me name it as tcs coding interview let me also select public static void main Yes. Let me import the required packages. Import Java dot util. Yes. Now let's create a scanner class object in order to take input from user. New scanner. system dot in yes now i will declare a string string str i'll take an input sc dot next line yes now let me also you know do a sys out input yes now what we will do is i will create a separate method let me declare it as static string check password let me pass two arguments one is string str and the other is int n Yes. So now, what up? What will I do? I will create a for loop. I less than n. I plus plus. Hmm. Now what we will do is, 
we will first check whether the string contains at least four characters or not so i will put an if condition and i will check whether n is less than four if yes then we will simply break this loop yes now let's check whether uh, the string contains spaces or not spaces and slashes so what i will do is i will create i will use the or operator str dot caret i equal to equal to single column space or str dot care at i sorry equal to equal to slash yes so we next what we will do is we will check whether the character the starting character must not be a number so how can we do that i will use one more or operator here then i will create i will check two conditions together so i have you know initiated one bracket here and now what i will do is i will check whether str caret 0 because we are talking about the initial index here greater than equal to 0 okay and str dot caret 0 less than equal to 9 single column line so it represents the number in in the character format so what it will do is it will check whether the first character is greater than or equal to 0 and less than equal to 9 that means if it is it lies between this range that is from 0 to 9 then it is a character then what we will do is we will simply break the loop we will not proceed ahead okay so these are the negative uh, conditions now let's handle the other ones so i will create one more if here and for, first of all let me declare two boolean variables here let me name it as one capital letters one is for capital letters and the other one is for numbers okay let me declare them as false the initial value is false here okay now what i will do is i will check whether the whole string contains at least one numeric digit or not now what i will do is i will simply check by caret caret i greater than equal to zero and str dot caret i less less than equal to nine okay if yes then what i will do is i will simply change nums to true okay now let me handle the other other condition that is at least one capital letter so let me do the same let me copy this from here
I will simply change 0 by A and 9 by Z. Okay. If the character lies between this range, then I will simply change caps to true. True. Okay. Now I will handle these outside of the loop if nums equal to equal to true and caps equal to equal to true that means we will return what was that correct password format else we will return incorrect password format okay now let me call this function here in the main method I will simply print it output check password str and str dot length that is the length of the string yes so let me run this hmm. let me test the first test case here let me copy this So yeah, it is returning that the password format is correct. Let me test it with the second test case. Let me rerun this. It is incorrect password format. Third one. It is correct password format. Let me try with fourth one. Incorrect password format. Okay. So yeah, that's it. That was the problem. I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe our channel for uh, more such videos. And I will paste the solution. Uh, in our website page and i'll paste this uh, problem link in the description or you can check check out in the comment section uh, make sure to join our telegram channel i will put the link in the description or you can visit our website that is scriptlearner.com it is an amazing website that we have created you will find some latest job updates here and uh, some good interview experiences we have many good interviews experiences of amazon google meta and we are also working on this interview experiences of uh, service based companies currently we have infosys and tcs we'll be posting many more stay tuned with us thank thanks for watching guys